late 1993 to introduce the BMW 850 CSI to North America, executives at BMW decided that they were going to build three very special cars for the North American auto shows in Atlanta, Los Angeles, and Detroit. Today I'd like to introduce you to the Detroit Auto Show car. These three cars were so special, the BMW painted them a color of paint that even they didn't have a code for at the time. It's aqua blau metallic. Only four cars got painted that color. Three of them were for the auto show cars. On top of the contrasting paint job, BMW also supplied a unique two-tone interior, a special color of wood, Vogelhorn Grau, which is the bird's eye maple. It's usually blonde, but this has a gray tint to it. It also has the cargo netting down here. There's cargo netting in the trunk. Individual door handles. This car is unique, except for its one twin, the Los Angeles Auto Show car that nobody's seen since 1994. I know where it is, but nobody's likely to ever see it again. This car was a three-year labor of love to restore back to factory perfect. Completely disassembled, concourse paint job, all new seals, all new trim, new windshield, no pits, new windshield seals, new rear windshield, new rear windshield seals, new trim up here straight from Germany. The interior was completely refurbished. Brand new A and C pillars, recovered with a special material. Headliner is new. Thinner material up here on the slide. The sunroof is all rebuilt. And when I say rebuilt, I don't mean the usual parts that people use. I mean every single wearable part in the thing. New seals all around, new trim. I spared no expense and I cut no corners. This car is as new, even though it has 90,000 miles on it. The rear subframe was completely removed from the car. The lower control arms, the subframe, all of the control arms were sent to the powder coaters to get blasted and recoated. All of the bolts were actually polished, sent to the platers and came back with fresh yellow zinc. All of the arms, bushings, bearings, hub carriers, Everything was replaced. It's brand new. It's a brand new drive shaft. The front suspension, same thing. All the bushings, all the arms, all the control arms, everything. There's no leaks in this car. There's no squeaks in this car. There's nothing but a finely tuned machine. Now, this car does have a clean Carfax, but that doesn't mean that nothing ever happened to it. If I didn't tell you about it right now, you would probably never know it. You wouldn't be able to tell. It got smacked back here with the previous owner. And when I got the car, it had been sitting for a couple of years. I wasn't quite sure what I was gonna do about fixing it. And then I actually found out what car this is, how special it is. And I said, okay, if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do it right. So the car went on to the laser jig all new metal was, was put in direct from the factory. No used stuff at all. I defy you to find anything wrong with this. It's all the factory weld spots, factory seams, everything. It's perfect. The previous owner of the car, before he parked it, spent a year and a half to get a brand new BMW S70 engine shipped over from BMW Germany. This engine in this car has less than 5,000 miles on it. This engine runs perfectly. This car drives and rides just like you'd expect a brand new CSI to drive. It's literally flawless. I, I love this car, but I'm afraid to drive it. It just sits in the warehouse. And if I did drive it, I'd be afraid to park it. 
basically it's a work of fine art masquerading as a car. And I'd really like the next custodian of this car to appreciate it just as much as I do.